Hi, old folks. This is Max from DroidRazorRoot.com. Um, so, uh, YouTube user XD9 Slinger asked me, "I need a video about how to restore your stock ROM from another ROM using Safe Strap for the Droid Razor. Um, come on, help a brother out." So, um, here's how you do it. So, let's say you're on a custom ROM, you get all this update thing, um, and for some reason you need to return your phone to stock. Um, hopefully you made a backup uh, of your stock ROM and I think I'm actually running, I'm not sure, I, I think this is a stock rooted ROM, is it? I can't, I'm not sure, but you can uh, restore back to it, I'll walk you through. So, first of all, um, turn off your phone and I'm assuming that um, you have safe strap installed and uh, I'll walk you through and uh, shut it down and Make sure you have a backup of your uh, rooted stock ROM, and if you don't, then forget trying to do this. Um, you should have made that before you install another ROM. That's just uh, common sense. Um, so it boots up, and then you should get the safe strap menu. Hit the menu button when that comes out. That's what we're going to do. Hit the menu, bu oh, menu button, there we go. And this will get us into um, safe strap recovery. So it should pop up anytime here. So make sure safe uh, safe system is disabled. Let me adjust my camera real quick so you can see better. You can see my safe strap is disabled. Make sure it's disabled. If it's not disabled, um, you can go to um, safe boot menu, hit the power button, and toggle safe system and then it'll, it'll uh, toggle it. Make sure it's disabled. And then we're gonna do a restore to our stock rooted ROM. So go to backup and restore, hit the power button, and choose restore, and hit the power button. And then depending on where you put it, I think I put my, my internal SD card. Um, no, maybe external. Okay, I put it in my um, external. So mine says uh, it's the non-safe. This is actually my stock uh, rooted ROM. And hit the power button. Uh-oh. I hit the wrong one, sorry. Go back uh, Go back to backup and restore. Hit the power button. Um, restore, hit the power button. And uh, external or internal, uh, wherever you um, uh, backed it up to. And then I'm going to choose my um, non-safe. This is the stock rooted ROM that I saved. And uh, include webtop and restore. I'm just going to say yes and yes restore and then this will uh, basically put your stock ROM back on and then um, we're gonna basically uh, boot back into the rooted stock ROM and it should you know restore the safe strap app also and then we can just open up safe strap app and remove the safe strap recovery although I don't recommend doing that unless you're gonna totally return your phone to Verizon or something and then uh, we can erase the um, super user files. And then we'll actually do an update. Since I didn't do an OTA update, uh, I'll do an, the, the latest OTA update just for the hell of it. And then you can return it um, fully, you know. And also you can do a uh, you can do a factory reset to erase all your personal data app settings. I'll have that too. But I'll be back when this is done. Hi, right, folks. So it once is done. Um, we're gonna go back and uh, reboot system um, now. All right, and this should get me back into um, stock rooted ROM, and then we're just gonna run uh, safe strap to get rid of um, the safe strap, the safe strap app to get rid of safe strap. So I'll be back when this boots up. Hey right, folks, so reboot it. Um, I'm back on my stock ROM. Um, that's just my 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 go launcher that's there. So it's still loading up. Um, let's go find safe strap. Where is it? Safe strap. If for some reason you lost face safe strap, you can just install it the way it's uh, it's been installed. I have instructions over at my site. So let me go. Force close. Um, recovery state installed. And we can just do uninstall recovery, all right? 
and then this shouldn't uninstall it so no traces of um, safe strap recovery so it's complete um, and next what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna reset um, reset everything so all the apps gone you can skip this step if you're just trying to update if you're trying to just get it um, unrooted um, actually you know what let's unroot it um, we're gonna connect it to our computer real quick actually you know what we can do it using ES file explorer so um, open up ES file explorer and then hit the menu button hit settings and uh, go to uh, root explorer and say yes and then hit allow all right so it's now it's, um, we can actually write and read I'll actually go back to menu settings um, and uh, hit my mount file system this will allow you to erase any system files which is what we want so hit the back button hit the star button hit the phone button and this gets you to the root directory of your phone system directory and go find um, system right folder hit it and then hit uh, xbin um, so you can see my path up here system xbin there should be a file called su which is a super user and we're going to erase that um, to erase root so where's su um, you can hit that button to see it like this find it su where is it this is the super user um, su file s sage there we go su um, do a long press delete all right and then hit the back button and then we're going to go to system bin directory there's another there's two versions of um, su file which we got to erase to get rid of root and uh, where is it su there we go long press delete all right and those are the two su files and then we have to hit the back button go back to system directory go to app directory and you should find find superuser.apk which is the actual um, application we also got to erase got to hide hide your wife hide your kids that's right I'm gonna hide it before you return your phone um find super oh, is it not here if you can't find it then it's it should be no no it should be here there we go superuser.apk do a long press delete all right now you've got your phone unrooted um, it's completely unrooted your safe strap has been deleted now the only thing left is to erase your personal preferences and I think you can actually do it under settings uh, about phone let me see hold on let me try to find it oh go to um, settings and if you go under privacy you can do a factory data reset okay so I'm gonna do factory data reset um, don't don't choose a you can choose erase internal storage and SD card if you're gonna return your phone make sure you make a backup before you do this but I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna I'm just doing this for this video reset phone erase everything now we'll see that uh, it's gonna erase everything and when it boots roots gonna be gone safe straps gonna be gone we remove those um, those two steps and also your set personal settings um, everything gone except also you can erase your SD card and internal storage um, in that options and you have a completely unrooted stock phone which uh, we will also upgrade to the latest OTA version um, just to show you that it worked because on a rooted phone you wouldn't do it so there you go so it's doing its thing and you know <clears throat> we can hide our wives and kids you know. So I'll be I'll be back when this is done. All right, folks. So it booted by itself. Um, you can see that um, my phone has been completely unrooted. Skip um, and skip and give it a second here, and we should be almost done here. Communicating with the server. I had your wife. I have kids. Everything's gone. Zipped. Um, skip. I'm just gonna skip everything. Just done adding accounts. Next. 
Okay, this is okay. Next, finish, and voila, we have a completely stock Droid Razor, and uh, it's getting me through all this. So I've got the stock launcher. See the apps are all stock, and uh, let's do one more thing. Um, go to settings, about phone, system updates, and I'll update it to the latest system update. And then uh, we'll do a final reboot and show you that everything has been updated to the latest OTA. Um, you can return your, you don't have to do the update before you return it, but you know, I'll just do it just for the sake of it. I'll be back when this is done. Alright folks, so download is complete. Um, let's um, let's go update it. You might have to go to settings, um, privacy again. Oops, no, no, not privacy. About phone, system updates, and just do install now. And I'll be back when this is complete. Alright folks, so it just installed the update. You can see um, safe trap is gone. Um, it was gone a long time ago when we uninstalled it. Um, we should see a uh, updated uh, with the latest OTA update and uh, that should be pretty much it. You can return it to your store or maybe you just wanted to get the OTA update um, and uh, you know you can enjoy your phone now. And uh, I'm going to go through it again um, so I can get free 4G LTE. Which I have on my unlimited. Um, I've used almost uh, four gigabytes this month, which isn't too much. But um, you know, if I was on a, the uh, the limited plan, the newer plans, then I would have paid like I don't know. I think it's like extra. It's a lot of money. Every time you go over, um, it's a lot of money. So it's almost there. And, uh, almost. and it's it's done. And what I do what while I'm waiting for this, I usually watch YouTube videos. I like uh, Epic Meal Time and Ray William Johnson. Um, anyway, so my phone is completely unrooted. Um, I'm up to the version kernel uh, 6.11748, which I believe is the latest one. There you go. So if you got it unrooted, um, that's how you do it. And uh, see y'all later. Um, oh, I think my. Monthly usage, just reset it. Alright, see y'all later. Bye-bye. Subscribe.